All right, welcome back. And today we've got some more postseason stuff that we're going to be trying out here. So we added, or not we, MLB The Show added some brand new content yesterday. We got the Division Series packs where you can get a 99 Lane Thomas, 99 Mark Vientos, 99 Teoscar Hernandez, and a 99 Glaber Torres. So let's go over each of the new stuff. We'll start with the Royals Yankees since we're on here. Of course, you get a 99 Glaber Torres at the end. Really good numbers, good contact, pretty good power, good clutch, decent defense out there at second base. Got a 99 Cole Reagans, four seam, circle chains, cutter, knuckle curve, slider. Pretty good for nines. Might be someone I might start. Got a 99 Garrett Hampson, good contact. Power's like pretty, like, okay. Good clutch, diamond defense, 99 speed. Probably going to be my leadoff guy. If I do like want to use them on the team. Next one up, we got Tigers and Guardians, 99 Lane Thomas. I thought they would juice up his numbers against righties a little bit because he did hit a home run off a righty in game one. But of course, against lefties, he's absolutely cracked. You know, 123, 118 against lefties. Of course, he had that grand slam off Tariq Skubal in game five. That was pretty much the knockout blow. 99 arm strength, 87 speed, 84 fielding. He's got a 99 Kate Smith. Four seam splitter slurve, though. Not really uh, the go-to pitches. Good per nines, but like, not really someone that a lot of people are going to be using. Then we got 99 Kerry Carpenter, pretty much the opposite of what uh, Lane Thomas is. Good against righties, pretty bad against lefties. Probably going to be, uh, you know, primarily used for uh, right-handed pitchers. Next one up, we got Mets Phillies, 99 Mark Vientos. This guy has been absolutely insane for the Mets in this postseason, in this series, and in the NLCS. Uh, great against lefties, 100-112 against righties, max clutch, good fielding out there, going to be our go-to third baseman. And 99 Nick Castellanos, pretty much good all-around card for Castellanos. He's got 85 fielding, so he's going to be a gold fielder out there in left. Um, he can also play first, third, with you know right field being his primary spot. we got 99 Jose Quintana, probably more than likely going to be my pitcher for this one. Sinker, forcing curveball, circle chain, slurve. He's got 99 control on that sinker, and he's got 99 break on that circle chain. So that's going to be someone that, like I said, it's going to be probably more than likely going to be our starter. Then, of course, I think pretty much what everyone was looking forward to, Padres, Dodgers, 99 Teoscar Hernandez is the last card you get. Probably not the best Teoscar we've gotten. I still think the home run derby one's a little bit better because I think the home run derby one has like better contact against righties. But he's still a pretty good card. 121 clutch, 89 uh, arm strength, 79 fielding, 85 speed, good numbers against lefties. 99 Fernando Tatis Jr. This guy was an absolute monster in the division series. He had two home runs in game two. Had that home run in game three. Really good against righties. Diamond fielding, 94 speed. And of course, the last one we'll highlight here, 99 Enrique Hernandez. If this card performs for me like how he did in MLB 21... I will be a very happy lad. Because I remember that car was absolutely insane. So this is the team we're going to be assembling for this one. we got Teoscar, Enrique, Tatis, Kerry Carpenter, Gleyber Torres, Garrett Hampson, Mark Vientos, Nick Castellanos. And then for catcher, we're going to have Kyle Higashioka. Um, there's no catcher for the uh, Division Series uh, program. And then this is going to be the bench. John Carlo, Lane Thomas, Otani, Bryce Harper... Just putting guys that, you know, contributed in their uh, division series, of course, with Lane Thomas. Can he play first base? Cannot. Uh, but, yeah, this is going to be the team. And then for pitching, like I said, it's probably going to be either one of these two, but it's probably more than likely going to be Quintana. Lineup's going to be Tatis, Carpenter, Torres, Hernandez, or Hernandez. So we got Enrique Hernandez and Teoscar Hernandez, Mark Vientos, Garrett, or Nick Castellanos, Garrett Hampson, and then Higashioka will be the ninth spot. Um, so yeah, one thing I did notice, a whole bunch of righties, so, you know, not a lot of lefties, the only lefty we have on here is Kerry Carpenter, but yeah, that's going to be the team, let's hop into it, and, uh, let's see if we can catch a win with this, uh, Division Series team build. Ooh, we're facing Pedro, okay, this guy's got a good team, he's got Tatis, see Ozzy has his 9 hitter, has him up to parallel 4, so that's got Trout. Pretty good record. By the way, if you missed the debut with him and Cody Bellinger, I'll leave that in the description. As well as, like, at the end of the video, I'll put, like, a annotation at the end. 
feel like this card's gonna be like very usable. He's got like a good pit selection, and like you know, he's got good for nines as well. I thought Sean Manaya was gonna get like the 99, but he already has a 99 in the game. But I don't know. Maybe he'll get one for the NLCS. Who knows? It's still early. I'm trying to play this game here. Although the friendly quick karma will probably uh, affect me now. Now ball. Thought I didn't need to dive, but maybe if I did, maybe. But Otani's got 99 speed. All right. Team Otani got a great jump. Damn, just like that, we're down one nothing. And that's 3 0. Jeez. Told you, man. Like, that friendly quick karma. That's a real thing. Right, that's a good job, but. Oof. And I face Pedro, too. That's, that's not a good thing. That is not a good thing at all. Right up the middle. That's a base hit. Right, good start for us here in the bottom half. We got to answer back. Have to answer back after giving up those three runs. It's a good swing, but it wasn't down the right field line enough. That was right at Tatis. I mean, <laughs> I chose this stadium. I wasn't even on that. But right field is like Yankee Stadium out there. That short porch. Not to mention you add that high elevation in the stadium. And we'll take it. Just kind of wish I just had a much better swing. That's going to get down. That's going to be a gap shot. Okay. You were answering. You are answering. Base hit. Two run homer. Now a double. That's a good swing, but that's going to be an out. That's tough luck. Man. All over that sinker, but... Just hit it right to Trout. Good pitch. Wow. Jeez, and then he just... Mm. I think I was looking for a fastball. Alright, he just missed it. Fart box makes the play. Right, David Wright... I think this is his uh, much better side against left-handed pitching. Checking to see if my controller is like fully charged, and it is fully charged. Right, ground ball, Hampson. Right. Ozzy Smith. This is his uh, much better side against lefties. He's got much better power in this department. So I gotta be very careful, and he's got good speed too. It's kind of like a second leadoff man with uh, good speed. And I don't want to give Trout someone to work with. All right, good bounce back inning for uh, Quintana. Especially after that uh, first inning where he gave up the RBI single and then the home run to Bellinger. It's a good swing, but that's going to be an out. That's tough. Warning track. It's not enough velocity on that one. That's a good swing, but just unfortunate. Gotta like, uh, like you know, adjust to that breaking pitch because that's back-to-back -back innings where the inning has ended on a, you know, pretty bad swing. On the circle change. It's a fair ball. Just get it back in quickly. And he's got good speed too, so I gotta be aware. And Quintana doesn't have the best of, uh, or not the best, the fastest of deliveries. Take the show out at first. No way we're going to get double play. Ball was hit too slow, and Trout's got good speed. Hernandez does have a good arm. Trout's got good speed, so let's see if he tests it. Nope. Okay, Bellinger, he jumped on the first pitch. Shit, man. Ah, 
Had a bad release. Just had a bad release on that pitch. And I only, if only I got that a batter earlier. This might be a short leash for uh, Quintana. He's not really getting the job done. This guy's seeing him pretty well. And Bellinger has four of his five runs. Just got to answer back. And there's still a lot of game left. It's the other way. That's going to get down. All right, that's another, uh, another double. He's going to bring up Glaber. Gave us the home run last time. And he's got his second home run of the game. And this one is on a pitch that I clearly got a hold of. All right, so Glaber's driven in all of our runs. So we've had two guys in each lineup that has driven in four runs. Cody Bellinger for him, Glaber Torres for me. All right, so Glaber having the best performance out of everyone. Oh, man, that's a pitch. That's tough. Just ran it fastball inside, and I just... Not only was I late, but I was pretty underneath it. Okay, I was kind of sitting on a breaking pitch, but it is back to a one-run game. Glaber Torres is literally a one-man wrecking machine. All right, I need a, I literally need a scoreless inning out of uh, Quintana. And this is probably more than likely going to be his last inning of work. Because it's about to be the third time around the order, and like, you know, it's just hasn't really, you know, been the best. Because it's literally Cody Bellinger with a mix-in of uh, Hank Aaron. Labor, good play. Needed that. It's a one, two, three inning. I'm going to have him start the fifth. And then probably going to go to the bullpen. Up the middle. Okay, that's a base hit. Just enough to get past the diving Ozzie Smith. By the way, he's going to be leading off the next inning. It's a good swing on that circle change. Might mess up the timing, though. And it did. Ugh. Did mess up the timing. I was sitting on another breaking pitch, and he just goes to a uh, sinker. That's a double play. Just hit right at Ozzy. That's not a good start. Going to Kate Smith. Oh, he just missed it. That was a bad pitch. I don't think I had the best release on it either. He's on the move. Didn't get the best jump. Nice job. Okay. All right. Nine one two. Finally gets on Glaber. Man, that's a good swing, but it's right at what's his name, Ozzy. It's going to be another double for Carpenter, and that's going to bring Glaber up to the plate. And it would not shock me if he just walked Glaber just because, you know, he's driven in all four of the runs. Once again, I would not be shocked if he walked him. He's going to pitch to him. That's a very ballsy move. And it worked. Pretty much went back to the same location he threw the first pitch. He's got Bellinger coming up second. All right, Cody Bellinger. I mean, I haven't been able to get him out. He's the reason why it's a, you know, one-run lead for him. Finally. There we go. Finally got Bellinger out. Right field. Or Tatis. Very good inning for Kate Smith. One, two, three against the heart of the uh, lineup. And I think that's going to do it for Pedro. All right, he's going to Rob Dibble. It's the first time seeing him. And nothing but cutter and slider. PCI was there. It's just the swing was a little too early. 
And he goes to the fastball. Jeez. Base hit. Two out single. That's not going to get down. Got to go the other way. All right. Uh, I said I was going to go to double, so I'm going to go to double. I'm going to work the opposite of him. I'm literally just going to come in with the fastball here. Let's get the fastball and then just maybe mix in the cutter and the uh, slider. I almost said sinker. Good. First start there. All right. A couple of quick outs here. It's exactly what we like what we like to see. I mean, we just carved him up. Jeez. All right. 891. No. Oh my goodness, it was right there and I missed it. And he goes to it on two strikes. I literally said, be aware of that. And I just whiffed. Oh, that's a good play by David Wright. Just, oh, bad throw. But that was a good play, though. That was a really good play. All right, Carey Carpenter. Does he go to a lefty? Or does he stick with Gagne? He's going to stick with Gagne. Come on, let's make him pay. Oh. Underneath the splitter. Oh, and he just bloops one in. That was perfect. Got him. Didn't even throw a fastball on that one. It's going to be in the gap. I mean, it's a double. Alright, uh, I'm going to the bullpen. I'm going to bring in Aaron Bummer. He's got Otani, and then if we can get the second out, I'm going to walk Hank to get to Bellinger. Alright, got the strikeout I'm looking for. Alright, uh, I'm going to walk Hank to get to Cody. I want the lefty-lefty matchup that I want. I know that I got burned twice, so I'm playing a very risky game. Fernando? Okay. Good job. All right. Still a one-run game. Uncle Labor, he's driven in all the runs here today. And he's driven in all five. We jump on a curveball first pitch. Saw it so well, and we tie this game up. My goodness. Have yourself a game, Glaber Torres. And he's going to mow, just like that. That's a good swing. That's going to get down. This is a test. Just ahead of the throw. That was a risky send, especially with Hank Aaron out there and left, who's got a good arm. All right, come on, Tay Oscar. Come on. Up the middle. Base hit. Come on in, fart box. Ahead of the throw, we got the lead. Let's go. Clutch base hit for Tay Oscar. Come on, Mark. Oh, man, I was looking for something. It was right there, but I was looking for something else. It's tough. PCI was there, but come on, Garrett. Let's get on base. Ooh, that was right there. Garrett Hampson out to left center field, and that's a huge two-run shot. That is a huge two-run shot. That gives us a little bit of breathing room heading into the ninth inning. Let's go. And that's a base hit. Damn. All right, but the damage is done. Come on. I'm going to leave in Aaron Bummer. Tatis is a little bit weaker against lefties. Vientos. Good play. All right, one out. Player of the game has to be Glaber Torres. I mean, three homers, five RBIs, one man wrecking crew. Oh, that's a base hit. That's fine. Huge out. 
Huge out. Carrie Carpenter. He was a big part of the game. He had two doubles. All right. Uh, I'm going to take him out. I'm going to bring in Lucas Urseg. Fly ball to left. Teoscar Hernandez drove in the go-ahead run. And he's going to get the final out. What a comeback win. We were down, what, 5-2 to two at one point? Came back. Fought back. And literally, Glaber Torres was just the star of the video. Three homers, five RBIs, one-man wrecking machine. And shout-out to the bullpen. I think after Quintana was taken out, did not allow a, like, a single run. And I don't think they allowed, like, a hit either. Or more than two hits. And, yeah, like, no answers for Cody Bellinger in this game. Reminded me of how I did in the last video with him. But Glaber Torres... Player of the game, 100%. Three homers, five RBIs. Big, big part of the win. Yep, that's what he is. Uh, GG to my opponent. It was a hard-fought game. You know, he scored in the first inning. I scored. He scored. I scored. And then we put up four runs in the eighth inning. And uh, we got the victory. And uh, again, shout-out to my bullpen. How did they do in this game? Let's see. Only allowed three hits. Cade Smith, two really good innings. Dibble. Inning in a third pitch well. Aaron Bummer, inning in a third pitch well. And then Ursa got the final out in the victory. Uh, let's see. Kerry Carpenter, two doubles. Enrique, two doubles. Kleber, of course, with the three homers. Garrett Hampson had a home run in that eighth inning for insurance. Hey, Oscar drove in the go-ahead run. You know, we got contributions from everybody except Nick Castellanos, which is kind of a surprise. But, yeah. Again, shout-out to Kleber Torres. Definitely a must-have. Because I feel like his uh, numbers are very, very good. I wonder if Scan got him up to parallel 5 yet. Because I saw his tweets on Twitter. And uh, I saw that he's like trying to get him up to parallel 5. And he's like pretty close. He's like 1 of 1 in parallel 4. So definitely he probably has him up to parallel 5 right now. But I'll probably check later on. But I'm going to wrap up the video. If you guys enjoyed, hit the like button. Like I said earlier, if you want to see the Mike Trout and Cody Bellinger video. It's up on the screen here on the left side along with the video on the right side. Of course, my channel here if you want to subscribe here in the middle. But uh, yeah, wrap it up, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.